Hello all, welcome to my YouTube lecture. I am Srikant Sharkul. We are studying about behavioral modeling. In previous session, we looked into FL statement that are conditional statements, and we also solved or written a Verilog code on Forest on Mux. In this session, we'll be writing a Verilog code on two bit comparator. So here is a two bit comparator. Hope you all know the working of two bit comparator. Just to illustrate, two bit comparator has two inputs and three outputs. These two inputs are, are, might be of any any bits. Here we are uh, considering two bit comparator. Hence A will be of two bit and B will be of two bits. We have declared it as a vector and we have three outputs. One for checking the equality, one uh, the other for checking uh, for greater than and uh, one more for less than. So these are the three outputs in the comparator. So in order to have a better understanding, we'll go for the paperwork as um, some of uh, our uh, YouTube viewers have requested me to just uh, explain using writing or using paperwork, which feels them uh, more comfortable than going with the PPTs. Hence, I have just, uh, I just try to explain using a paperwork. We'll go for the paperwork. now. <clears throat> we will write a Verilog code on uh, two bit comparator using conditional statement. The code goes like this. The first statement being module, then give the identifier name. I gave it as comp underscore two. A comma B are my inputs, two bit of inputs. A E B, A G B, A L B. A E B is A equal to B. A G B is A greater than B. A L B is A less than B. So I declare the output. So I'm using the output inside the always block. Hence, I declare the output also as register. A, E, B, A, G, B, A, L, B. Then input. Input A and B are two bits. So I'm taking it as a vector of one down to zero. A comma B. So I need to use a always block. So I'm using a always block now. Always at, you can either write A comma B or A or B, or else you can directly write it as star. Any event occurring on any of the input, this always statement will be triggered. Begin. If so, first let us check the equality operator. So A is equivalent to B. This is two bit. Two bit value of A is compared with two bit value of B. Begin. Begin. You can write it here because I'll be having multiple statements. A equal to B will be one assigned with one. And what about the other two? So it will be assigned with zero. This is how it goes. Similarly, next, else if a less than b begin, uh, I forgot to end, end it, I forgot to end it, b begin, a less than b begin. So now a l b should be made 1 and a e b should be made 0, a g b should be made 0. Else, else, you can directly write if these two conditions have been checked, you can directly write else and finish the program, or else you can even mention the condition here also to have a clarity. A greater than B, begin. A greater than B is 1, A equal to B is 0, and A less than B is equal to 0. So here I have not uh, have used begin. So hence I need to end it here. Also, I have used begin. I have to use end. Make sure that whenever you use begin in, a, in the start of the if statement, uh, complete it or end it with uh, using keyword called end. So after if else statement, end the always statement because you have used a begin here and the always statement. And this is to end the module thing. Number of begins and number of ends should match. That's a funda. So we'll take the same code here. Comparator underscore two underscore bit. We have two inputs, three outputs. We 
we are checking the equality and we are assigning a b equal to 1 we are checking the less than we are assigning uh, 1 to a l b and we are checking greater than symbol and we are assigning 1 to a g b and keeping the rest uh, of the outputs to be 0 the same code what we took it what we wrote just now and we'll just take uh, this uh, same code in the xilinx environment and we'll check the simulation so i'll open the xilinx environment i'll close the previously uh, just opened uh, simulations if any so this is a code i have written the same code no change at all i just run it i've synthesized it so i'll just uh, take the simulation of uh, the code written so in the simulation i'll restart it give the values to a a is of two bit make sure that you're giving two inputs let me give it as zero one and i give the value of b to be same same value let me check by giving same value 0 1 run it zoom to fit zoom out so 0 1 0 1 a e b is made 1 a l b and a g b are 0 now i force uh, the value of a with 1 1 so a is 1 1 b is 0 1 so a g b should be made 1 a e b should go to low the same thing is happening here agb is 1 aeb is going low now i'll uh, make this a to go to the minimum 0 0 so i'll run it now alb will be high rest 2 will be going to 0 so this is about the uh, two bit comparator and in the same way you can implement n bit comparator you can design an 8 bit comparator or so on uh, now i by now you might be understanding the importance of the behavioral style of modeling the same two-bit comparator requires a tedious process in design of verilog code in data flow style and gate level modeling wherein you need to take the help of k map and um, you should you should derive the expression and you need to use the, use the same thing in your code wherein in behavioral style of modeling by using the higher level commands or the the conditional statements you can easily implement the comparator so this is this is one of the uh, advantage i can say or the strength of the behavioral style of modeling so if any doubts in the program kindly uh, put your doubts in the comment box and uh, to we will see uh, more examples on um, ifl statements in the next video see you in the next video kindly subscribe my channel for uh, keeping yourself updated thank you